an international soccer crowd at Wembley Stadium, but football speaks all languages as 100,000 fans yelled, here they come, and the England team escorted their visitors, Austria, onto Wembley's spacious turf. It was Austria's first visit to England for 19 years, and one fan was making the most of it. England skipper Billy Wright tossed the coin, Captain Gernhardt called wrongly, so England had won choice of end. The red-shirted Austrians kicked off, and a back pass to number five, centre-half Ockwerk, brings their sixth forward into action. By the Austrian marking system, Lofthouse, number nine, England's leader, is marked by the right back, but Ockwerk falls back to relieve the pressure. And in the opening minutes comes the long-awaited clash of leading world soccer styles as the Austrians weave their patterns, intricate as a Viennese waltz, in the England goal mouth. Now the contrast, England's fast-moving style that has reigned for 50 years unbeaten at home. A Milton pass puts Brodies through, but Zeman makes a wonder save. It's a great English half-back line, with Billy Wright, number four, starting attack after attack. A goalless first half, but it was only the brilliance of goalkeeper Zeman that stopped England from taking the lead. Play restarts, and the first English-style Austrian attack brings a goal from winger Melchior. But England has a team of fighters, and the new cap, Broadis, number eight, starts a brilliant counter-attack. Bailey goes clean through, but no, a defender brings him down. With 100,000 onlookers holding their breath, Alf Ramsey shows just how a penalty should be taken to put England level. And it's from a Ramsey precision kick that Lofthouse heads a brilliant goal to put England one up. Free kick for Austria, and watch Eckersley fist out a certain equaliser. And Stoyas Pal bangs home the penalty to put Austria level. So it was England 2, Austria 2, and England's proud unbeaten home record remains intact. Well done. <laughs>